Hello everyone, my name is Hubert and welcome to Teach Me Channel. Today we are going to be looking at GCSE Maths Trigonometry exam questions. Now yesterday I explained some basic trigonometry so if you are not feeling confident with Sokartoa, what that means, uh, sine, cosine, tan, if you are not confident with these terms check out the link in the description below, there is a video that will take you through all of it. But today we'll be looking at some questions that often pop up during exams and that we need to learn essentially. So without further ado, let's get started. Now here we have first question. We need to find side x. We are given, we are given one of the sides of the triangle, we are given an angle of a triangle and we need to find this side right here. Now, okay, so now we need to figure out what formula we are going to apply to find out the side x. Now how do we do that? Well, we need to first figure out uh, what sides are in this triangle in relation to the angle which side is opposite, which side is adjacent, and which is hypotenuse. Okay, so opposite is this one here, O, because as you can see, it does not touch that angle at any point. Adjacent is right here because it touches the angle. However, it also touches the right angle. It is not slanted. Whereas here we have hypotenuse, the longest, the slanted side, that does not sort of touch the right angle. However, it does touch the angle. Okay, so these are our sides and now we need to pick a formula that, that uses most of the information that we are given. However, it also includes one piece of information, only one piece of information that we currently do not know and want to find out. So we know what opposite is, we know what angle it is. However, we do not know adjacent what it is. We also don't know um, how long hypotenuse is, but this is something we are not really interested in. So which of these, which of these will work best? Well, so will we use sine where you divide opposite by hypotenuse? No, because it doesn't include the side that we want. It does not include the information we want. Will we use cosine, where you have adjacent divided by hypotenuse? Again, no, because, okay, so we have the adjacent here, but we also need to be using hypotenuse here, which we have no clue what hypotenuse is. So that leaves us with tangent, which makes sense, doesn't it? Because it is opposite divided by adjacent, so opposite, we know what it is, we know what angle it is, and we know that we want to find out what adjacent is. So this formula is what we will be using in this particular question. So now let's write it out. So tan of 35 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now let's plug the numbers in. So it is equal to 15 centimeters divided by x. What do we do now? Well, we need to isolate. We need to isolate that x. And how we are going to do it? We need to multiply I will rewrite this equation, tan 35 degrees, which is equal to 15 over x. So we have only two terms here, so this is not confusing us. Okay, so we need to multiply both sides by x first. So multiply both sides by x, like this, which will give us x tan 35 degrees is equal to... 15. And now we need to divide by tan. So both sides divided by tan, like this. So both sides divided by tan of 35. 
which leaves us with x is equal to 15 divided by tan 35. Now, if you put that in a calculator, this will give you an answer along those lines. This will give you 21.4222 recurring centimeters. So this is our answer to this question right here. So here the challenge was to choose the right formula and then to apply it and to rearrange it the right way to get the information we want. And that is how you find the side of x. Now, let's move on to a slightly more involved question right here where we need to find the angle x. So we have a triangle here, 25 centimeters, 25 centimeters and 30 centimeters and we need to find the angle x. However, the problem we have here is that there is no there is no right angle anywhere. So we cannot apply Sokhkhtoa in in this state. We cannot do much. We cannot apply Sokhkhtoa at all. How do we get around this? How do we get around this with the knowledge we have? Well, we can sort of create we can sort of create a artificial um, right angle triangle. And how are we going to do that? Just how are we going to do that? We are going to achieve this this way. So I'm just going to redraw the triangle. So here we have 30 centimeters. Here we got 25. Here we got 25 centimeters, centimeters. Okay. And what we are going to do is, since we know these sides are equal, we know that this peak, the peak of the triangle is corresponding to the middle of the base. So we can split it downwards like this. And this will give us a right angle triangle here for each, we essentially create two right angle triangles. Now angle X is right here. Okay. So now we can, knowing this, now we can just go back to the way we normally been doing things and we can figure this one out. Okay, so how are we going to find angle X? Well, what do we know? We know right here, this one is going to be the opposite of angle X. This one here is going to be adjacent and this adjacent one is actually going to be 15 centimeters long because because it's the the split here is halfway down the base so we know this one's 15 centimeters long and we know that this is the adjacent side and we know that this must be the hypotenuse so what are we going to use here we are going to use this formula cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse okay so Cosine x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And that is equal to 15, as we know we split this in half, divided by 25. And so if we divide these two through, that will give us an answer of 0 0.6. So cosine x is equal to 0 0.6. And now in order to find out what is x equal to, we need to use inverse function of cosine. That's uh, you press shift on a calculator and that's how you can access the inverse function. So x is equal to inverse cosine like this of 0 0.6. So x is equal to, if you put that in a calculator, this will give you an answer of something in a region of 53 degrees point 13 and so on. Okay, so this is our answer for question number two, right here. Now, the challenge here was to figure out that we need to split this triangle down the middle to create a right angle triangle from which we can uh, go back to our usual way of solving things via Sokhkhtoa. Okay, 
So these two questions were relatively simple. Now let's move on to the final question for today, which is a bit harder and a bit more involved. And I will show you how to do it. So let's move on. Okay, so now we got to figure out the third most involved and the hardest question we're going to do today. So we need to work out angle X right here. And we have this big triangle. So what is our problem here? Well, to, to work out this angle X, we do not have two sides. We only know the opposite side here. And we do not know the angle, so we cannot go straight to Sirkev Torah. Now also, this triangle here is not a right angle triangle, so it doesn't give us much to work with. So how on earth do we solve this? How on earth do we do this? Well, let's see. Now the key here, the key to this question is to notice that this whole triangle here, these two triangles put together make a third triangle, which so happens to be a right angle triangle. And I will show you exactly how it goes. It goes like this. There we go, it comes down here and then it goes right back here. So it makes this huge right angle triangle. Now, okay, great. But what do we do? What do we do with that information? Well, here's our game plan. It is always good to have a game plan how you're going to solve the question if you can see it. How you can solve the question before you start, if you can see a way of doing that. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to add these two, which will give us the opposite. Here we have the hypotenuse, and using these two, we can figure out this angle right here that incorporates these two guys and we're going to call it angle Y. And then once we know this angle, we can take away that 30 to find out X. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. We will go through it step by step. So don't worry. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we need to find out the opposite side. So we're going to add these two guys, 5.2 plus 10.4 gives us 15.6 centimeters. And I'm going to underline this because this is one of the values we actually gonna use because we're not gonna be using these anymore. I'm underlining 18 centimeters because that's our hypotenuse value that we are going to be using. Okay. And so here we have our circuit equation. We are ready to go. So in order to find out angle Y, what are we going to use? Well, we have opposite and we have hypotenuse. So we will be using soch, sine opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so sine Y is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of Y is equal to 15.6 centimeters divided by 18 centimeters, which is equal to 0 0.86 recurring. Okay, now in order to find the angle y, we use the inverse formula. So y is equal to, like we did in the last question, sine inverse sine of 0 0.86 recurring. And that, if you put that in a calculator, you can use shift to access the inverse formulas. So if we were to put that in calculator, we would get answer something like this. 60.07 degrees. Now, so now we have angle Y. Y is equal to 60.07 degrees. And I am going to underline it with a wavy line because this is not our final answer because we are looking for X, but this is important. Okay, so now let's figure out X. 
Okay, so we have y, which is 60.07 degrees, and that comprises of two angles, x and 30 degrees. So if we take away that 30 degrees from 60 degrees, 60.07 degrees, we should be able to find x, right? So let's do it. So x is equal to y minus 30 degrees. So x is equal to 60.07 degrees minus 30 degrees. So angle x is equal to 30.07 degrees. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our answer right here. Okay, so that's it for this question. And the main challenge here was to figure out that you can put two, these two triangles together to make a big right angle triangle. And that's what a lot of trigonometry questions will involve you will have to look at the different shapes they give you and figure out in which way you can reach the information you want. And they will always give you all these kind of roundabout ways of getting there. Now, there is another way we can solve this. I'm not going to tell you what the way is, but we have done it in one of the previous videos. So if you know, if you know how to solve this with a different method to this one, just uh, let me know in the comments and I might give you a shout out, shout out if you were the first one to figure it out. Now, so this is it for today. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you very much. If you want to stay up to date on daily science, maths and uh, some biomedical science videos, subscribe uh, below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and see you next time.